I'm joined here by Lanford Town Manager Neil Fenn. Neil, a 2 0 loss tonight, you must be disappointed. Disappointed with the result, yes, obviously. Um, the, the, the way we conceded the goals was, was, was quite soft as well because I thought it was a, it was a pretty even game up to, the, up to their first goal, if possibly we had the better of it. But um, they scored a goal which was a, a kind of a bit of a hammer blow, it looked offside to me, a, very, a mile offside, but obviously he didn't give it. Um, and then you come out in the second half and they hit us again from a, from a, from a well worked free kick to be fair to them and, and it's always going to be difficult trying to, trying to get a goal when you sit back. We didn't seem to create too many notable chances, you know, we had close calls with Conor Kenna in the second half with a close header, Mick just didn't get onto it and then Anton Breslin's free kick just towards the dying few moments. What do you think just didn't get us over the line tonight? I just think that they, they defend very well and they've got, they've got the best defensive record in the league for a reason. They, they, once they take the lead it's very difficult to get it back. Um, and especially when you're losing two goals, so it was always going to be difficult. It's, it's difficult enough making chances as it is in a game when it's even. But when you're losing two 0 and you're putting balls into the box and they're defending their box very well, we'll look ahead. You know, to the league games that are left. You know, we'll, we'll probably say it's safe to say Shells have the title one now, as far as we're concerned. But you know, we're back in third now, draw it ahead of us by two points, I think it is, or three points, and. You know, we've Cabo breathing down our back and then Bray behind them. Obviously, our job now is to consolidate this third or second place spot for the playoff. Yeah, we're, just, we're, we're trying to get second now. Obviously, um, winning the league's unrealistic for us now. So we're trying, to, we're trying to get second to avoid that third and fourth place playoff. But if we're in the third and fourth place playoff, we'll take it. Um, but we're trying to get second. That's all we've got to play for now. But obviously, the cup next week against Bowes. Looking ahead to that game, just before we go on. You know, it's another massive game. I know people are probably thinking even more so now than the first game against Athlone. You know, are you going to rest this person? Are you going to rest that person? But at the same time, you kind of want to go into that game competitive. You want to get a result. And, and Longford Town on their day can get a result away to balls. Yeah, I, I was at the game last night when they, when they scored 10. So I'm not sure if, if resting players and, and playing lads that haven't played in a while is the right idea. But listen, we make that decision once we see how everyone is after this game tonight. It's been a tough game tonight. Um, and we'll see how they are in, in the week. But I've told them to keep their heads up. We actually didn't play that bad. I thought we played quite well. Just got caught, caught by two sucker punches, really. After that, then, I think we're away to Wexford. You know, it's always difficult going down to Wexford. They're going through a bit of a bad spell at the moment. But I know it's, it's still very raw tonight, you know, and, and we'll be disappointed, but we'll be confident going down to Wexford given past results. Yeah, we have to be. You know, we've, we've got to dust ourselves down and pick ourselves back up and, 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 and make sure that we win our remaining fixtures that, that we have. And, the boys know that. The boys are disappointed that they lost. Obviously, we felt we deserved something out of the game, but that's football. It has a habit of kicking you when you're down, and and you know we lost two 0 tonight, but we dust ourselves back down um, and go and go and try and beat Bowes next week, and then look forward to, to Wexford. We had the largest crowd of the season so far tonight. You know, one thousand one hundred and eleven people here today. Um, you'll obviously be personally disappointed that they were here and we ended up losing again, but. You know, the message to them really is to stick with us. You know, it's still not over yet in terms of getting promoted to the Premier. There's still a good chance Longford can go up. Yeah, I mean, obviously, Shell's brought a lot of fans, which was great, and it was, it was a great atmosphere with, with the away fans. But, you know, they, they saw a good game tonight. It's not like it was a bad game to come and watch. I thought they saw two teams giving everything they had, players out on their feet towards the end of the game, you know, um, hard fought match. And I thought we played well. There's, there's, I don't think anybody can say we didn't play well. I just felt that. We lacked a little bit of cutting edge and a little bit of luck around the goal that, that they had tonight.